welcome back guys to another episode of 100% Motorcycle and today we're going to talk about leathers and we're going to talk about protection within your leathers. As you can see, <laughs> these are my leathers and they're a little bit worse for wear at the moment. But how old are they? Oh, five years? Six years? Yeah, probably about five or six years I suspect. Um, and they are Dale Easy uh, CRS one piece levers. Uh, they are perforated, as you can see, with all these tiny little holes in, which makes them completely useless in wet weather and cold weather. But as I'm a fair, fair day, hot, sunny day rider, I don't care. They are unbelievably comfortable and they have served me well. And on the 31st of March this year, I had my little off, and the only piece of damage I've got on my levers is this small tear in my stretch panel, which is really nice because that's actually really, really, really easy for someone to replace. And you will find in the motorcycle community there will be people out there that specialise in leather repair, so I'm not anticipating this to cost me. An arm and a leg, get it? Arm <laughs> and a leg, right? <laughs> As you'll get to know me over the next uh, few coming videos, I am a comedian. I'm waiting for the round of applause and cheers and laughter, but uh, we'll get on to that later on. Uh, so, with the levers, why did I go with these levers? Well, the simple fact is they fitted. I tried them on and I tried several, several different pairs of levers on. And these ones were the ones that fitted best. Yeah, they were in my price range uh, about six years ago. I think these were 650 quid. Sounds a lot of money, but if you divide that by the number of years I've had them, it works about 100 pounds a year. So, and considering that I've had them off, as you can see, I've got damage or scuff on there. Some veterans come off, but well, that's just that's just cool to have some things hanging off your levers. My titanium shoulder uh, slider has been damaged. Um, you also see a little bit on my uh, leg there where it's just taken off the fluorescent colouring. But the best bit uh, for this is which side is it? This side. Oh, I've got a little bit of a scuffed bum. But what you also notice here that this hasn't worn through. You know, with a little bit of treatment and double checking of the stitching. I will make sure that the stitching is double checked on all the areas that, where it looks like it's received damage. Actually, these are good to go again. And again and again and again. The, you know, if you look after them, you know, these are treated, these are washed, these are treated with leather leather creams and stuff. You know, they're cleaned regular, even though they don't look like it, they are stained a little bit. But they are what they are, they are leathers, you know. They're designed for you to move about. You know, and what we'll do is I'll uh, uh, get my friend, uh, um, esteemed colleague from this channel, uh, Mr. Menzies, to uh, put a photo of me in action and pull them out. Um, and you will see that these levers get a hammering. You know, for me, over the six years, because I'm slightly aerodynamic in the middle, and as you get older, it seems to stay and doesn't disappear. I've actually had these modified, I've actually had a little stretch panel put in the front because I found over the time I was starting to be arched over in my shoulders and I was found, finding it difficult to uh, stand up. Um, as these were an off the shelf levers, I tried them on, they fit quite well. But little things like the way that it fits around your, uh, your wrists, your cuffs, you know, so these were modified to ensure that they fit my wrists a bit better. The zips were shortened because they were a little bit too long. Um, and you know, on the back, because you know, I'm a right poser. I've had it's Jimbo time on the back. That's a bit of an ongoing thing with friends and motorcycle friends and track days. So you personalise your leathers. You know, these are all. It can all be done. You know, there's companies out there that will do this for you for a, for a relatively cheap price. Um, and for us uh, down in Devon, we've got a lovely lady down in Plymouth. That we all kind of go and use for our leathers modifications and repairs. It does a fantastic job. Um, so these would be off to her swiftly. 
um, to be repaired. Um, what else can I say about these? You know, protection wise, let's talk about the protection here. You know, you've got shoulder protection, you know, uh, again with the day easy stuff, but if it gets damaged, it's easily replaced. You've got your elbow and uh, forearm protection on there. Yeah, again, it's really good quality. You know, when you're wearing these levers, you don't realise it's there. It's so, so comfortable. You know, you've got a little bit of hip protection. Uh, you've got like a little speed hump on the back. Well, I wouldn't say that offers any protection whatsoever, but it'd be there for some reason. More probably to stop whiplash and all that. With your legs, you've got shin and knee protection. Very good shin, knee protection. Then you've also got the knee sliders. Um, these ones have been ground down on the track. These aren't the ones where you sit in the garage and use a little grinding wheel to get them down. Um, so these ones are proper. Um, but they offer no real back and chest protection. So this is why I have got my chest and back protectors that I personally wear. It fits very well. Again, it served me very well because in the high side, most accidents and injuries are caused by you actually hitting your chest into your screen. And that's exactly what happened to me. I hit my high side and as I was catapulted up by the, the fucking, uh, fucking uh, rodeo that I was riding at the time, my first thing that I hit was my chest into my screen. And yes, um, I'll come off. I, like I say in previous videos, I damaged my hand and I sprained my wrist. I, I had no chest, no back, no rib, no hip, no other damage whatsoever, no neck damage whatsoever. And it just goes to show that wearing the right piece of kit at the right time will save significant injury. And over the years, yeah, they've had an off, they work. What else can I say about them? They're just awesome. But don't forget guys, this is my own personal preference. This is my own gear. You know, this is from my own personal decision, trying on other brands. You know, I tried on the RMSTs, I tried on the Alpine Stars. You know, you try on the, the um, what oh, words, the other local mate from here, begins with a B. Hmm. Can't remember. Um, but they all, are fantastic levers they all do fantastic you know one piece they do two piece levers you know it is down to your own preference you know go be fitted go sit on a motorcycle with all your gear on and i mean all of your gear so if you wear a back protector take that along with you if you wear race boots take those on, along with you because you want to know whether they fit inside or outside your boot you want to take your helmet with you because with your speed hump on the back and your race position you might find that hump interferes with the particular brand of helmet that you like to wear so it might not be a suit for you gloves take your gloves along with you as well make sure that the cuffs fit inside or outside your gloves your preference you know and make sure you have good zips you know make sure that you go through the whole thing and most important once it's all on go sit on a motorcycle which is similar to the one that you own or sit on the one that you own if you've ridden your motorcycle to the shop to, to uh, try on some levers and then just see if they're comfortable you know the worst thing that you find is that you might get pinching in the back of the knee depending on your foot peg position you might find that when you lean forward the back's too tight you might find when you lean off the bike in certain position the shoulders and that on the elbows are too tight so trying it on making sure that it fits right and it actually works for you on your current motorcycle is absolute key. You know, buying a one piece set of levers doesn't mean necessarily mean that you are a full time racer. You know, there's nothing in getting your knee down or on the knee sliders. Uh, you can be very, very fast and not ever touch your knee down. And that's been proved many, many, many times by people overtaking me like I've been stood still. So just think about what the purpose of the lever is. It's there for your protection. It's there for your safety. And again, it's down to your budget. You must consider your budget, what you want to achieve. All right. 
it's not all about one pieces, you know. Um, Mr. Menzies is going to talk about his levers and shortly in, in, a, in another episode, and he's also going to talk about his two piece uh, levers. I used to have a day and easy two, um, what do they call it, twin stripe or two stripe two piece levers, and they were fantastic. Did exactly what I said. If you're going to go down to one piece like this, this is fine, this would be fine for all manners of track day. If you're going down for two piece, then you must make sure your two piece levers have a 360 degree zip. Um, and that is the ruling of many track day and race syndicates. Um, other than that, guys, that is it for me on my levers and my back protector and chest protector. So, in the comments below again, note down, comment on what levers you use, whether you use a back protector at all. Um, if you don't, you should seriously consider it. Like I say, if any of you have had a bad back and hurt your back without motorcycling, you know how painful it is. It's even more painful when you break your back. Yeah, so make sure that you do that. So make sure you comment down below. Do you use a rack protector? What type of levers you wear? Is it one piece, two piece? Yeah, make sure you um, hit that subscribe button, thumbs up if you like our video, and make sure that you push the bell for updated videos. Thank you very much. Yeah.